sissy, go! Go, sissy, go! Go, sissy, go, Bobby! A dirty milk nose. Hi, baby. Yeah, good mama. Doing one of my night checks. He was sacked out pretty good, but I said, hey, buddy, and he picked his head up and looked, and she was setting a little bit different. She's actually rotated around a little from where she was. She's in the same spot, though. And I was talking to her, and I said, Hi, baby girl. And she started to get up. Then she decided I wasn't worth getting up for. So, twins are doing good. Nothing happening in here. Nothing happening in the feed barn. So, I'm going to go to bed. And, uh... Yeah, if I work it right, I think there's two other short videos number one sent me that'll be ahead of this one, so you'll see those. Then if the morning works out right, next you might get to see a sunrise. If my camera would pick it up, it's a very beautiful starry night tonight, I would show you, but it ain't going to pick it up. So. Okay, Wade. There's a sunrise come a little farther north than it was remember it used to be over there give it another month it'll be even farther up here and now it's up where we can see it come through the trees better almost and yep another nice frozen morning everybody in the midwest talking about getting 60 70 degrees we ain't hit 60 yet we bounced between 28 and I think we made it to 57 yesterday. But we've been consistently 28 or 29 every morning. Oh, working wonders on my sinuses anyway. Oh, and hey, may as well show you what I got going. What I got, a little bit I got done yesterday. I made a big mess. Made a deal to hold those. I forgot, smaller rolls don't come with a spool. Pump is mounted. The red line's a drain line. I'm going to put a hose clamp on it down at the bottom of the frame. Put it on an angle that way so whatever the exhaust does, if it comes from there, it ain't no way. And choke cable is in. Ignition switch is not yet. We got the choke cable red. <coughs> all hooked up nice and pretty only thing I'm going to do is playing against the valve cover right there I'm going to slip a piece of hose on it and zip tie it over here to the fuel line and that vacuum line keep it out of the way so lots of figuring out on stuff to do as I spin you around and make you dizzy simply because I'm wondering what I was going to show you but it may not have been anything I don't know So maybe it was nothing. And now I just got to remember how to, how it was plumbed. <coughs> On the old one, the pump was behind the cab, but everything else was in the cab. On this one, the only thing that used to be in the cab is the monitor. Everything else can be back here somewhere. So I got to remember how the regulator was in there actually kind of a double regulator setup worked fine with the big regulator for years then stuff quit working and so this one got put on it we were told that was the answer at the time either way that's all god 20 30 years old at least so 
Oh, well, see where my morning goes. See what the day brings. Um, we're going to, supposed to see them test the bowls at 2 o'clock this afternoon, so. There'll be a little fun there. I probably won't be able to show anything because I think we're going to be shorthanded. Story of my life. <laughs> little fucker didn't stay in there. <laughs> oh, oh, you didn't hear that. And the last one. My mother decided we had to weigh all the steers before uh, she could figure out the six that are leaving. So, yeah, what the heck, let's put another hour, hour and a half into them by the time we got them. And this one, the scale says 815 pounds. This is probably one we thought about leaving a bull, I don't know. Yep, she said he is. So, finally, after however long, we're hopefully going to be delivering the rest of the steers that are leaving tomorrow morning. But in the meantime, like I said, you know, I'll take an hour, hour and a half to screw around to weigh all of them first so we can screw around and do it all again in the morning. That's it, kid. That was the last one. Ain't no more. Jam empty, clear back there. I don't know. And uh, next, we got to widen the alley up and pull the pins out of the head gate because this afternoon we're semen testing bulls. So while I'm thinking about it, this is already widened up, but this isn't. Here's what I like about these. Pull that around. Go like that. There's what, four settings? Works great when you're doing calves. But for the bowls, we gotta have it. She said she pulled the pins on the head gate, but I'll bet she only pulled the top ones. And generally, with the bowls, their necks are big enough, we gotta do the bottom ones too. Which is a yeah, pain in the back. So. Oh, and mom's leaving. Hmm. No idea where she's going today. Usually Friday is her house cleaning day, so who knows. Anyway, that's what we're doing today, so far. Now to turn them back into the heifers, so we can try to separate them all again tomorrow morning. Hey, look what I just got handed. It was in a mailbox. You can kind of see what's in it through it. Yeah. See if I can show part of it without showing too much. Huh? 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 Oh, and even come with my name on it. Sitting there waiting for the vet to semen test bulls. I just walked in here. So, when we flip her open, here's what you could see through it. It says, Thank you. Ed, hope you and your family are doing well. Thanks for the support and helping the channel reach 500,000 subscribers. Ron Crosley. Ron, you're very welcome. I am glad I've been able to help you boost your channel up a bit. And there's a sticker, which will find a spot over there somewhere. Kind of make them so I can get more on there. And not less on there. So, thank you for the thank you card, Ron, and the sticker. I appreciate it. And uh, beautiful day today at 57.7 degrees at the moment. At almost 2 o'clock in the afternoon. If you notice, the elevator's not in here. Kind of had to move it out to move a few things. And, uh, say, the bulls are... My pickup's here because the trailer's on it. The bulls are down there waiting for the vet to show up so they can uh, get their butt plug inserted and get a semen sample and see how the little swimmers are. I'm hoping they're both good enough. So far, one of them has got a lot more calves on the ground than the other. But they did both breed everything. So, And you, you really don't know. I mean, we can test them now and in 30 days... They can be shooting blanks. They can be perfect today, so. 
and actually it'll be just about 30 days we'll put them out maybe a little sooner than that we'll see because the I'd like to get the the yearlings bred a little sooner if we can but you also don't want to breed them too soon and have them calve too young and usually the two year well yeah the two year olds who have recently calved will go with the first bull with the yearlings but unfortunately they're only half done calving so we won't be able to do that for a while hopefully they all calve by the time we get the bull <clears throat> excuse me at least get one bull out so they come from the back barn get brought up here run through the chute loaded back in the trailer taken back back there then we go to let them out. Usually we just sneak them from one barn across to the other. We'll get them into the feed barn and we can go either way from there. And that's probably more than enough BS for now. Probably getting too much video anyway. I don't know. I'm with Rainy. It's nap time. But can't do that yet. I still got a few hours to go. You got like eight or ten minutes of other stuff. Cow stuff. Bulls tested good today. This is my mess for my wiring. Working on a bracket for it. It's going to go to the left in the back corner of the cab. That upright will hold the, the breakers, and I'm going to come off the side of it to put a solenoid for turning everything on. Got the pump on yesterday. I'm still going to, I'm going to shorten the drain line and clamp it over. Got to do that yet. Figure the rest of that stuff out. Choke cables hooked up, so things are slowly coming. And I don't know if I showed that yesterday. I think I did. Cheap freaking holder for some cheap wire. Hopefully the wire works good. Better not be a bunch of crap. I'll be upset. So, anyway. And now apparently I get to go with my better half to deliver a phone charger to number one's better half. Because he apparently doesn't have his with him today. Oh, yeah. It's light out yet. It's still 5 o'clock, though. And number one never put Skidster away yet. She was going to use it. And she didn't. She's running parts for me, so. That just means i got to go get out of here for a little bit. I'll try to get you a shot of it. There it is. We'll even show you a sprayer in the field. GK sprayer. If anybody wants to buy one. I won't. I don't have one. Shouldn't say I won't have one, but I don't have the money for one. Just out for a drive. Actually see where one guy got some field work done. Everybody else has at least gotten out and done some spraying, and that's about it by the looks of it. So I don't feel too bad about not being out yet. These guys got ground the drains better. And they don't have to pull hills. So, anyway, we're headed home after dropping off a phone charger for more because his phone was dead. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you all have a good evening.